So how do we deal with frustration in computer science? That's a big question. I don't have all the answers. I can certainly say that. Um, I've been doing this a long time. Uh, I think I've gotten a little better at some certain aspects of the psychological aspects that go along with it. Uh, I think maybe I have a little bit of perspective on that. So I'll just talk a little bit about me and what I do and the places I struggle, which I know about. And hopefully some of that might be things that, you know, you can try. Um, so, you know, dumb stuff, right? Like, obviously, you know, I like music. So, you know, when I'm working, when I need a little boost, when I'm angry, you know, put the cans on, you know, pick something to go into the ears that's uh, going to kind of meet me where I am, right? Sometimes that's inspirational. Sometimes it's angry. Um, depends on what I'm doing and what kind of where I am in the particular task that I'm working on. Um, so that's one thing. I've got, you know, weirder things, right? I've got some... Uh, you know, essential oils here that I keep at my desk that I'll, you know, put on the hands, get a little bit of that in the, it's just, I don't know, it's just nice, right? I, it's a weird thing, right? I, I went on a yoga retreat earlier this year and it was, that's one of the things I got out of it was that. So, you know, I try to keep, take care of, uh, you know, my, myself, you know, fitness, nutrition, getting enough sleep, um, Working at times of the day that work for you, uh, you know, that's not always necessarily, I think, for programmers or people in computer science, the morning <laughs> sometimes. You know, I, I will admit, you know, that you guys will see me on the forum, you know, in the, in the evening. Like, that's a kind of a productive time for me. It feels a little quieter. There's less email bouncing around. I can kind of focus and get in a group. So, you know, uh, that, that's okay, right? I wouldn't suggest that you, like, work all night very often. Um, that's not a great idea. But sleep, taking breaks, um, but all of these, so one of the things, I think there's two or three really important messages here that I really like you to hear. So let me try to go through those. Um, the first one is everybody in this field makes mistakes. If you're not making mistakes, you're not doing the job, right? You're, you're not programming, you're not trying. Um, there's two parts to that statement. Right? One's sort of good and the other's sort of bad, right? The good part is for those of you that are starting this for the first time and making mistakes, it does not mean that you are bad at this. You're not. Everybody's making mistakes. I make mistakes all the time. You're probably going to see a bunch of them manifest themselves this semester because stuff's going to break and it's going to be whatever. Um, so you'll notice. Um, you know, Everybody in this field makes lots and lots of mistakes. We do get better at fixing them, um, but you know, making mistakes is sort of a natural part of, of working with computers. And it's just because computers are so literal, right? They're so hard to deal with. Uh, they're so precise and they demand that degree of precision from us. And we're not like that, right? We're, we're softer, we're fallible, right? Um, so on some level, you know, that, that, that the way that computers complement our abilities can also be a source of conflict because they're really good at things that we're not and they kind of expect that from us in that way. Um, so good part of mistakes, everybody makes them. Please, if there's one mistake that you don't make in this class, let it be, don't think that you're bad at this because you're making mistakes, because you're not, because we all are making mistakes all the time. But that's also sort of the bad part of that message, which is that it doesn't stop. So if you're thinking, oh, well, you know, I'm just making mistakes now while well, I get started this and eventually I'll just be able to sit down and, you know, you know, write the program perfectly the first time. No way. Uh, this is not something that goes away. It's a part of your life in computer science. It's a part of your life in technology. So start getting used to that, right? Uh, come up with some coping strategies, whatever they are, whatever works for you. Um, second kind of big point, right? Appreciate the limits of your relationship with a computer, right? When you start working with computers, you're going to, you know, get very excited by what they can do and the types of problems you can solve with them. But there's a lot of things that computers, there's a lot of ways in which your relationship with computers is very limited. And really, if you let it, can highlight the ways that you need humans in your life. Um, computers are not empathetic. They are not kind. They are not patient. They are not forgiving. Um, they will, you know, they, they don't give A's for effort. Uh, you can keep 
banging your head against the same homework problem hundreds and hundreds of times, and if it's not right, the computer will never give you credit for it. Um, so just keep that in mind, right? Um, and the way that you deal with that, at least the way I deal with that, is you try to have human relationships in your life or relationships with you know, your furry friends or whatever that balance that out, right? And, and don't expect that from a computer. A computer is not your friend. Um, you need to have family, you need to have friends, you need to have human relationships around you to really help support that you know, relationship that you have with the computer. Because on some level, the relationship we all have with computers is a little dysfunctional. Right? It's not clear that it, you know, if, if, we were, if it were human, you might consider the computer to be kind of an abusive relationship. Right? We put up with this because of all the computers are capable of doing and the ways that we can use them to change the world and make things better. But they're tough to deal with. So that's kind of the second, the second big point. Right? Um, you know, find ways to you know, um, have human relationships that can, that can support and complement your relationship with computers and, and realize the ways in which relationship with computers are difficult. Um, I guess the last thing I would say is be conscious of how this all changes you. Um, it's incredibly exciting once you start to see the power and capability that comes along with, with learning computer science and learning how to program. Um, but it can also change you a little bit, you know, psychologically and, and you can start to, you know, the, the worst thing you can do when you learn this stuff is to start treating other people around you like a computer. They're not, right? And they, they don't want to be treated that way. And if you treat them that way, they're probably not going to like you very much. So anyway, this is, you know, again, a big topic. It's something that we can continue talking about as much as you guys want throughout the rest of the semester. Um, you know, one of the reasons why, you know, you know, this is such a big emphasis for us in this class is because this is why people get stuck here, right? The, the material that we are learning this semester, I am 100% convinced anybody can learn. Anybody can learn. Just matter your math background, you know, uh, whatever, right? Like, people can learn this stuff, right? Um, it takes some of us longer than others. That's okay. Uh, we make lots of mistakes along the way. But the reason why people don't get through this class and don't get to that point where they start to see how exciting this all gets is they get discouraged. And so... We want to continue to encourage each other, to support each other, to make sure that everybody feels, you know, really positive about this. And we're going to try to generate a lot of positive energy this semester and share with you throughout the class, right? And that's one of the ways that we try to support you along the way. We know that you can do it, right? Will you do it? We're going to try to make that as likely as possible by making sure that you feel supported and you feel loved throughout the entire journey.